Arc Browser isn't getting new features anymore, but its creators launched something that could change how we use the internet forever. So Arc Browser development officially stopped in May 2025. This means no more new features. And browser company went in depth on their blog post about this. And they said that as we started exploring what might come next, we never stopped maintaining Arc. We do regular Chromium upgrades, fix security, vulnerabilities, related bugs, and more. Honestly, most people haven't even noticed that we stopped actively building new features, which is something about what most people want from Arc. But it's true, we are not actively developing the core product experience like we used to. Naturally, people have asked, will we open source it? Will we sell it? Will we consider both extensively? But the truth is complicated. They also went here on about why they can't actually sell it at the moment and open source it. And they stated that Arc isn't just a Chromium fork. It runs on a custom infrastructure we call ADK, the Arc development kit. And and down below even, they also stating something else that ADK is also the foundation of Dia. So their brand new browser, which I will talk about later in the video. So while we'd love to open source Arc someday, we can't do that meaningfully without also open sourcing ADK. And ADK is still core to our company's value. That doesn't mean it will never happen. If the day comes where it no longer puts our team or shareholders at risk, we'd be excited to share what we've built with the world but we are not there yet. Really unfortunate news that the Arc browser won't be receiving any more of the new features. However, I think it's a still great browser if they do decide to include security patches for Chromium. As you may know, and probably if you're watching this video, you are also a user of Arc browser. Arc browser actually introduced this sidebar view of the tabs on the left, as you can see. And I think this is a wonderful feature of Arc browser. Browser. Of course, other browsers are implementing this feature as well, like the Zen browser, Edge browser, and many more. However, the Arc is one I still think it has the best implementation. Now, let's talk about a brand new focus of the browser company, and that is Dia Browser. I will leave Dia Browser link in the video description down below, guys, so you guys can easily download it. Yes, you guys can download Dia Browser on your computer if you have Mac, and it's currently available for all Arc members. So it means that if you have Arc Browser account, you can also download and uh, use Dia Browser on your Mac OS. Now, quite recently they did this, so it's available to all Arc members. And you guys can simply click on download here and then click on download and install it on your Mac. And then just simply sign in with your existing Arc account. Now, if you don't have the Arc Browser account, I will leave my invite link in the video description down below. Below. That way you guys will also get access to Dia Browser, but I think it's a limited number of signups, so make sure that you go to this video description really quickly. Yeah, let me talk about right now about Dia, why it is so different compared to Arc. And the main difference, as you can see here, is the horizontal placement of tabs. And you guys can also see that it's quite similar to the, to the Chrome browser. As you can see, Chrome has the same horizontal tabs on top. And now they are also available here on Dia browser as well. But Dia browser also has something more because it's a context aware hybrid of chatbot and a web browser. What I mean by that, if you go here on the top right corner, you will find this chat option. Now, if you click on it, you guys can just ask the question about this page and we can ask it, how can I download the uh, browser? And now we can see here that it will use some thinking or AI model. And you can see here that to download the uh, browser, you need to be an ARC member. If you are already an ARC member, you can visit the uh, website and click download the uh, and then just simply sign in with your existing ARC, ARC account. And I think that this is really cool that they implemented this AI feature inside Dia browser. Now, as I mentioned, it has this chat, which is context aware about your website you're on or your tab. Now, if you click on plus here or command and T, it will open this new tab page. Now compare this to the Arc browser, which will open this search window. I think that this is a step backwards. 
I must admit that I really do like this kind of a new tab, so to search or enter URL. But hey, I think that this feature is also coming into the Dia browser in the next upcoming months. And also vertical tabs are also coming to Dia from the Arc browser. So eventually every single cool feature hopefully will be included inside Dia browser as well. And now this is how the new tab window looks like here on Dia browser. We can search for the web, we can just add some tabs or files. You can even use microphone and just say the problem or website you have and it will start a search. And you can click here on this arrow and you can write, you can even code or you can click here on new skill and you can just start something else here. And one cool option here is also that you can also upload files from my computer. So let's ask it something that I will think will be really, really cool. For example, let's search for Zen browser and let's go here to their website. You can see that the UI is also very nicely made. As you can see, the tab and also the URL bar is nicely tinted with the background color of this website. So yeah, really cool UI design overall of this browser. Click on add tabs or files. And for example, we can select here Zen browser and maybe we can even select here even another tab. Let's click on meet dia tab and let's ask it. So what is the main difference between these two browsers? Let's click on chat and let's see what dia will come up with here. By the way, guys, if you are enjoying this type of content, make sure to just smash up the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. Now you can see clearly that the this AI implemented inside dia browser did a really good job with the answer. So the main difference is Dia is an AI first browser focused in browser chat and automation, while Zen is a privacy focused open source browser inspired by Arc, but built on Firefox. So it really nicely here conducted this answer and the main difference, which is basically the engine the browser is actually running on. So Chromium and the Gecko. Now, because Dia browser is a Chromium browser, you guys can also install extensions. So you can go here to manage extensions, click on Chrome Web Store, and you guys can pretty much download any extension you would like to. However, I found one issue with this extension, iCloud Passwords. If you have a solution, please let me know in the comment section down below. But the thing is that I cannot use this extension with Dia browser, no matter what I tried. You can see here that I have iCloud Passwords extension installed. And you can see here that it says extension requires macOS Sonoma or later to be installed. So maybe there is a bug in Dia or maybe the browser extension itself or even in the macOS operating system. So I hope this will be fixed in the next upcoming releases of all these things. And you guys can also use this personalization feature so you can just personalize answers. So you can see here that when enabled, Dia tailors its responses based on what you teach it here. And you can see here who inspires you or shapes your taste. How do you best digest information? So for example, bullets, analogies and stuff like that. So this Dia browser could could be the beginning of AI browsers becoming the new standard. Dia represents a fundamental shift in the web interaction and other companies will most likely follow with similar AI first browsers. And we might potentially be also witnessing the next revolution of web browsing. Now, with that said, I think that this is pretty much it for this quick Dia browser review. You should definitely give it a try and don't forget to use my invite link in the video description down below. If you enjoyed this video, like this video, subscribe. And with that said, have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you all around in the next one.